Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds. This nice is thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure, best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. Kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. Yeah, yeah. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, we are in Byzantium, and uh, we are just going around because we didn't we didn't go around well enough the last time uh, we were here. I can take this. You're so nice, leaving me purple berry brunches or bunches or whatever they are. But we did explore this. Excuse me, Nelly. That's what we really need, you know. More of you standing in my light. <laughs> I think we heard that before. Um, yeah, so we're exploring the Undercity for the moment because we just went... Retirees, Street Axis. Yeah, we went to the Street Axis. Let's go to the Retirees and see what this is all about. Now that we have seen the upstairs. The law's really looking out for me. Is it? What are, are you Retirees from? Feels like I've been waiting in line forever. Hmm. They don't actually have anything to tell me. Excuse me. Hi. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. You have a, an exciting suit, though. I mean, that looks... That looks fantastic. I love the greenish beige. It goes really well with the blue. I love that colors. Those colors. And the orange accents, of course. Everything looks good with orange accents, as we well know. Uh, excuse me. Can I just look at this? Requires docking bay terminal codes to unlock. We should be able to get some of that. Right? I mean, this is free to access to the public. Let's see if we have anything over here. Unfortunately, you do not. I'll keep it down. Yes, you better. Hmm. Nothing here. Uh, how do I cancel? Look away? Yep. Excuse me. Move along. I know. I know. There's a toss wall over there. It's not the first one we find. Huh. This is suspicious. I really can't do... I can't, I can't pick those pockets because these people will spot me. This is also sealed. We're bound to come down here sooner or later, right? We got to. Okay. Well... That was a bit of a letdown. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Also, I, I, I was, I, I moved a little bit ever so slightly while they were talking. They didn't look at me, but they started looking at me as soon as the uh, elevator changed. So I think there's some bug related to their pathfinding that uh, changes or resets where they're looking, and they, it doesn't check again after the they move. If I spit, it probably should. I it probably should check there. again. My, that's my solution for every script. Just make something in the background checking every time. Just whatever. Optimization be damned. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's why you prototype, and that you prototype a system like this, you come up on all the little necessities that you're gonna require, and then you rebuild the game from scratch. Of course, in a uh, production environment that is absolutely prohibitively expensive, and usually video games pay barely a a anything as it is, so they don't get that sort of treatment. It's only for sequels, I suppose, and even then, you're still asking to rebuild the engine for a sequel, which is, again. A bit of an ask. All for them, for you basically not having to rack your brain to patch something like that and optimize it. Because it is up to you as a programmer to optimize stuff like that. Instead of just, you know, sending in a bunch of... Uh, where are we looking at? Sending in a bunch of scripts that check every time. We're looking at the wrong things. That's where we're looking at. Um, Phineas... Uh, uh, no, we're not going there. We are... Um, mm -hmm. We're just looking around, aren't we? We do have a mission over here. So for Celeste. 
It is here, isn't it? I don't see the marker. The marker is over there. Uh, no, that's the one. Uh, we need to look around Byzantium before we move. Uh, that's that's the one that we need to bring a bunch of uh, a bunch of clothes to Celeste, I think. Why? There's a spade. I mean, is this? Why why are the streets so dirty now that I'm looking at them? And I mean, things are a little bit cracked up and whatnot. I suppose, you know, maybe this is, you know, just old. And you know how cement works, because this is clearly not tiles. Huh. I wonder if that's a commentary there, or if that's, you know, if that's environmental storytelling. Or if it's just, you know, the uh, designers being, being like, let's make things interesting. Because, you know, clean pavements, they look good in real life. They don't look good in video games. You want all the detail. I mean, they, they, they sort of look good in video games. I love Byzantium. You do, don't you? And we have been here already. I'm just gonna check on Celeste. Hi. I can't wait to see those outfits. I'm sure you are gonna have... What can I do for you, darling? You're gonna have to wait because um, I didn't find anything. I just wanted to check up on you. Make sure we were doing everything. Let's stick to Remember that the right wall. Square. Are we sticking to the right wall? We're not. We're sticking to the left the wall. One with the spacer's choice Which means... Ooh. Yeah, we're sticking to the left wall, which means this I've always loved. is where we were supposed to go before we go over there. Let's see what we have up here. We have a robot with a top hat. Billingsley... Billingsley's... Leal's house... What the heck is this called? Excuse me. Hi. Oh my god, that is weird. Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. Is he a... What, what do you mean? By things like that. Wait, there's a pet. There's a pet wrapped it on. Those wastrels in Emerald Vale have all abandoned their work. Did you know? How typical. Oh, we're getting to that little bit of commentary that I was talking about last episode, about how they don't work. I, I mean, I, I didn't do a very good job of, of actually explaining where I'm coming from, but then again. That's, uh, I was just sort of raising the point more than actually interpreting what the game has to offer. Billings... How is it that difficult for me to pronounce that? Billingsley's. He looks... Glam. Let's put it like that. At least glam. I mean, I'm sure we can agree. I like it. I like it, but... I mean, he looks fabulous. It's what he looks like. My god. Hi. Excuse me. I need to get closer. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Uh, that... I think that's how the real Bloody Mary is. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know drinks. We don't have drinks here in Portugal. We just... Do whatever. <laughs> Seriously, I was actually having a chat with this, um, or about this the other day with uh, with Keith and Andrew, and they uh, they've been talking about the drinks, the first, first drinks and whatnot, and um, and I'm like, I don't I don't know anything. It's like pizza. Americans have all these names for pizza, and I suppose the rest of the English speaking world maybe for like different types of pizza and whatnot. That's not. That's not what we have here in Portugal. Just each restaurant calls them whatever they like. Just literally, that's literally what happens. And you just need to look at, you know, what it has on the pizza. And you'd be like, hmm, I like this bit. And I like that bit. So I'm going to go with this one called, you know, that whatever name that they decide to go with. Um, I could use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant located just over there. Aren't you the bartender? Quite so, but I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. Gauche. Okay. Well, again, that little bit of commentary there. It kind of goes in with the theme. I wanted to ask you something, though. Oh, by all means, ask away. What's uh, it like working in Byzantium? I don't believe in work. Work is for auto mechanicals and lower classes. Quite so. <laughs> Such things as labor. 
Ghastly. Truly, veritably ghastly. Are you serious, though? I don't mean to sound cruel. There's nothing wrong with working. It's just so... unnecessary. Why bother? We all have our roles in society. I like to think of myself as an entrepreneur. This drinking establishment is my investment. I'm sure it is. Picked up uh, uh, any interesting rumors? Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka is about to release its newest color, Ultraviolet. Completely invisible to the naked eye. I am sort of... Uh, surprised... that the game is taking this approach regarding... Huh, it's, it's surprising. So, what's happening right now is that the people of Byzantium, him in particular, as sort of a portmanteau for, uh, for Byzantium... Portmanteau might not be the word, by the way. I, I'm just using it because it sounds fancy. I mean, we're in a restaurant with a robot with a top hat. It's not a top hat, but we can pretend it is. Uh, and also that. Um, he's not... He's not being... I mean, he's being depicted as certainly the, the, the sort of... The privileged among all the, the, the um, among the colonists in Halcyon. But not necessarily as the one who exploits. But rather... You know, he's coming from the position of ignorance. He's... Why bother? You know, it just sounds... It's ignorant, obviously, because we know why bother. I mean, we've seen what happens in Edgewater and, and other places. So that's the what that's what the game is painting here. It's still not missing the... the, the certainly, certainly not missing the... Um, the... Uh, what's the word, I suppose? The, the... The fact that... People in Byzantium don't work, and their stuff all comes from the work of other people. But it isn't... It's it's kind of interesting, because it's also... The game is also not putting them in the position where they themselves work. Just a different type of work, which is actually what happens in real life. If you compare people from first world countries in, that, that work, you know... Like, for example, in services and stuff like that tends to be. And uh, in other countries, poorer countries tend to work in uh, in, in more uh, manual labor and stuff like that. Not that people in first world countries don't do that, but in the class differences exist everywhere. But it's just... Uh, the, the distinction there is the game isn't falling for it. Well, it's not falling because it's kind of complicated to, to, to speak in those terms. So I'm going to say it, but don't read too much into the word falling there. But the game is not falling for the trap of... Having people in um, um, tertiary, I suppose, tertiary industries look down on people on primary, indus primary and secondary indus industries and be like, oh, that's so, you know, bad. That's bad. I, I want a good job. I'll be a lawyer or something like that, you know. That, that's that's so... And I say that, fall, like, that, that sort of... There's something to be said about that. Um, but it's not... I, 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 I don't think that it is in the context of this game. Like... Talking in those terms wouldn't work for a game like this, because the people in the tertiary sectors still are under the machine, and we uh, under the machine of, of the still would be in the, under the machine of, of the corporation of the board. Uh, so that's why they're not like that. They're, he's he's coming across as ignorant, and he doesn't really work. Because if he did, he would undermine the storytelling. Guard Mayfield, excuse me. Is that... Did you turn... What is that? Is that the green beige that I was commenting? Because I can't see anything under this light. Hey, 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 stand back. You... I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. I... Are you supposed to drink on the job? Of course not. <laughs> But I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Really? Anything you can tell me about Minister Clark? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. You haven't met him, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. If this were a fantasy game, I'd say he's a vampire. 
And because it isn't, I would say it is, uh, he is a robot. <laughs> That's usually how things go. We'll find out. Uh, what's so important about guarding Mr. Clark or Minister? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> They don't give those out to just anyone. G nice catch there, Mr. Voice Actor. Not really. I'm not really sure why they... I mean, I suppose... Yeah, it doesn't... It, 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 it just comes across as a mistake because that's what it is. <laughs> but I suppose he's drunk. It, you can f sort of forgive it. Uh, a key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. He was going to go for Mr. He was going to go for Mister. How about I, I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea. I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum vodka for a new pal? I probably do. Yeah, I do. Cheers to me! <laughs> oh my god, he's drinking... Hey, like you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? I do indeed. I, d I don't use these. I've been collecting them throughout the whole game. That's not true, actually. I've been selling some of them every once in a while. That's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow! You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Oh, let's have another. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. That was a good job on the voice actor, though. He was really getting into it. I think the idea here is that I... I just need to sit down. Can nice and easy. Just... Oh, my... Holy... He... He died? Dude! Dude! Holy crap! He was dead, I swear! Don't look at me like that! I I know you said... Oh, crap. <laughs> well, um... I, I got what I wanted, I suppose. Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, I thought he was just gonna pass out. He just literally up and died. Um... Let's get out of there, girls. Let's, uh, get on with it. Seriously. Over there. I'm going. Thanks. Heading back. Yeah. You do that. You do that. Uh, holy crap. What is that? Aged whiskey? What is this? Still iceberg? Oh, just iceberg aged whiskey. It's just probably it's just aged whiskey, not really... I, I aged in an iceberg. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Pre-approved banter? How could I resist? Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Did you know that despite being an extremely valuable, one-of-a-kind creation, I have been programmed to simulate self-loathing and contempt for myself. 
Really? I'll have a drink. I won't, really, but I suppose that's fine enough. Billingsley's. The robot pronounced it so nicely. For a moment there, I thought the joke was going to be that the, the pre-approved banter was just badly pre-approved, and it was going to be poorly written. You know how you, when you try to... Well, you might have never tried it, but uh, if you try to use a computer voice, and you put in, I suppose, badly formatted text. It's not really badly formatted text. It's like, it's all down to the punctuation. If you don't use the punctuation properly, then the computer doesn't know how to intonate the sentences as well, and it just screws it all up. And I thought it maybe was going to be like that, because all you need really is to miss a couple of comas, and then all of a sudden, uh, then all of a sudden things, things go badly. So uh, please use your comas, please use your dashes properly, or rather don't use them, because they are barely ever used. Um, and certainly your periods and commas. The commas are really the biggest culprit for bad punctuation. I want to see if I can jump down there. Oh my god, I can. Oh my god, I can. The water doesn't even look terrible. I mean, in the sense that, you know, not necessarily from a graphical standpoint, we know how good the water looks in this game. I mean, like, from a pollution standpoint. Well, we are in the minister's area. I didn't mean to be. Oh, I see the other way. Ah, lovely broken ankles. My favorite. Ah, I love it. Love it. Let's let's actually look after that. <laughs> or look look at that. Uh, if I can find it. One, two, three. That's the one. What is it? 200. That's the one. E? No, F. Good. And now my ankles will be healed on account of the rubbish food that I just ate. There's another Raptodon. So apparently Raptodons are pets. What's gone into Bachmeyer? Bachmeyer. Bachmeyer, he pronounced. There's some money on the floor, and I could pick that up. There's a ring over there. I'm not really in the in the mood. Out for with it, you wretched contraption! Does nothing in this city work anymore? Is that really the situation? Oh, actually, that stun ultra baton. That, excuse me, I'm sort of bumping against your your backside there. And this, I, I though, it's still stealing. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. <laughs> Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Thanks to your continued hard work, Halcyon is healthier and more productive than ever. In the coming months, Byzantium will be sure to see the many rewards reaped from your diligent labor. Once we nail down the details, I can't wait to share what's in store. For now, my friends, keep up the hard work. Yeah, the theme is right there. The theme for this is right there. I sort of didn't see it before. I suspect it might have been my fault, honestly. Uh, but now that I am wisened up to it, I suppose, uh, it is right there. What is that? Fun times barrel? That sounds like a good time. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. Or the good it's type. Just, you seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. I wonder what she did, Ellie. I wonder what she did, hmm? What'd she do? Hmm? This lighting does not favor us. Human skulls are supremely creepy, as we well know, because we all have a skull. At least I hope so. And if you don't have a skull, well, uh, hi, I would like to hear about your case. Anyway, we are, <laughs> we're, I'm, I'm, I'm just learning where to go, because this is, uh, I know where, uh, like, uh, we now, I have now figured out all the circles that I have made. And we'll continue making so we know how to access the ministry's house. We've got janitors going about. We also have LED rimmed manhole or whatever. What are these called? 
Uh, they're covers. Uh, the covers. Sure, they look fancy, but inside they're just marble and existential emptiness. The houses? They do look really cool. We got some of these houses here in Portugal. Our fair city is being over. Oh, there. That's what? one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Anywhere else. I didn't actually get to read what she was complaining about, but I, I mean, completely anyway. You need to pause the video to see that. But she was saying that it was overrun with, I think I saw the word barbarian, and we have heard of it. Uh, people from outside Byzantium, of course. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning, I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. You wish I was frolicking, but I'm not. I'm ending the episode. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Outer Worlds. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.